You responded to Joe Sy's comment about Kyrie uh, on Twitter. What about that bothered you? Um, and what about Joe Sy's comment? And then what, if anything, that the league has done has bothered you? Uh, yeah, his response was alarming to me. I tweeted it out yesterday. He didn't say that um, the organization was working together to get Kyrie back on the floor. He, he said that he had more work to do. Um, and our society has more work to do, including Joe Sy. And it's 2022. Um, it takes 10 minutes of time to see who you know, these business owners, corporations, et cetera, who they're associated with, who they're doing business with, and who they're affiliated with. And I'm vice president of the union. And it's part of my job to protect our players legally. To see Phil Knight first come out and condemn, you know, Kyrie Reed and also see Joe Sa say he has more work to do. I think it's time for a larger conversation. And Adam came out and said a statement that he doesn't believe Kyrie Irving is anti-Semitic, um, yet he's still suspended indefinitely. What do you think the reaction should be with him? Uh, I said this before, I think it's uncharted territory. I think it's no distinction between you know what somebody says versus some of what somebody posts, um, and I guess that they, that's what they're trying to figure out. You know the terms that the Brooklyn Nets instituted for his return. Uh, I voice you know my discomfort. Some of our players, some people in the media, voice some of their discomfort with that, and you know we've yet to hear you know what is the the latest with that situation. You know it's still an indefinite suspension. He's already missed five or six games. So, you know, how many games is he going to continue to miss? Is it a, another situation going on there? Is it a larger situation going on there? Is it another conversation that needs to be had? Um, we've yet to find out. So I'm, I'm staying tuned and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm keeping my phone on to just see what is going to come of this situation. Do you have concerns about the, like, kind of the parameters that were set up for his return to play as far as just – creating like a, a level of steps of things that have to be fulfilled and do you think that something needs to be addressed in discussions over the next collective bargaining agreement absolutely i think that i don't think we've ever seen anything like this before in our league so um to to say that this is what is needed for somebody to return um, we just thought that was excessive you know players thought that was excessive so um, i'm not sure if that's going to be something that would be a, a cba negotiation point or, or talking mechanism. I just know that the sensitivity, you know, on both sides that need to be addressed. And I, I'm, I'm looking forward to the union and the NBA and the Brooklyn Nets coming to a solution in the near future.